Thank you for joining us today, Queens County. We have an update for you. We have two commissioners, Commissioner Duminil and Commissioner Corcorino, who want to talk to you about the vaccine update and things going on in the county. So, gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Bruce. Good morning. So what's going on? <laughs> you want to start? Uh, I think one of the most important things um, that our citizens have to um, remember and realize that um, our capacity to vaccinate our citizens um, at the rate that we're doing it, um, we're leading the pack when it comes to uh, other counties in the state of Maryland. You know, our, we're at over 100% mm -hmm. um, of the vaccinations that we're getting, we're putting into arms. So, um, so we're, uh, we're running very efficient. In fact, we have the capacity to do a lot more than the vaccines that we're getting. Um, I think the most important thing to do to remember is, is log on to the Queen Anne's County uh, COVID.org website and register with the intent to get the vaccine. And once you're registered and in the system, then we will reach out to you when it's time for your time slot. And then at that point, you'll, um, you'll go online and answer all the, the medical questions and, and you'll actually get a firm date when you're gonna go in. All right, and what's important, some people have asked me about when they go on to qacovid.com and they register, or .org, sorry, and they register, um, and they may have not heard from the county in a week or two. This is so that we can gather a database of those interested. And as the vaccines are available and appointments are available, we will be reaching out to you. But um, we're appreciative of those citizens who have reached out to say, hey, I, I signed up two weeks ago. I haven't heard anything because it raised awareness with us that we need to do a better job of updating people who have signed the interest list to let you know where we are in the process. So yeah. we will be doing more of that going forward. Yes. So if you've registered and you haven't heard back, don't panic. That's right. It's an interest form. It's an interest form for yes. the county to, to gain uh, what, what people in our county want. Yep. Who, so wants, who wants the vaccine and, and who doesn't want it? Right. And speaking of that, can we talk a little bit about the supply for the county? Sure. Yes. I can talk about that. So the state is sort of dependent on what it gets from the federal government as for its supply. And then the state has its formula. Every week it determines when it finds out how much it's going to get, how much it can give out to the different state health departments and, and the hospitals. We usually find out the weekend leading into the week uh, that we're going to administer the vaccines, how many we're going to get. We have requested uh, substantially more than we've been receiving. Um, and this week we've, we've received less than we got the week prior. We're not alone in this. Other counties have received less. There's a lot of different factors that go into it. And the main thing is just the level of supply that's out there in general. There's a lot of interest for the vaccine now. Um, and so that affects the supply. We're hopeful that in the next coming week and month, uh, we're gonna see an uptick in the supply. But at this point, we don't know. So if you haven't heard from us, one thing I wanna assure you, we get the vaccine in, it is in somebody's arm that week. Mm -hmm. We are not carrying any stockpiles of the first dose. We get them out right away. And as Commissioner Duminol, uh mentioned, at the end of last week, we got a report from the state. We were number one in the state for getting vaccines into the arms of our citizens. That's a really good thing. Um, but because we are so efficient, there's no carryover for the next week. Right. And does that affect uh, second doses? Or is, this, is that a separate uh, allocation? Right. So we have now started to receive allocation for second doses. That's a different allocation that we get from the state. And we have to keep that, obviously, for when the second doses come due. And those are starting to come due pretty soon now, which is another good thing that we're starting to get to that level. Because you need two doses of the Moderna vaccine, which is what we're, we're using, in order to have the maximum efficacy of it. <clears throat> we can't use second doses for first doses because we don't know week to week what we're gonna get. Mm -hmm. And we, the last thing we wanna do is wind up in a situation where we have people who have had a first dose, it's 28 days later, and we don't have a second dose for all of them. So we're being very protective of that second dose. And that's the way the state wants us to maintain that. So speaking of the state and their mandates, where are we at now? Who are we testing? Is, are we still with teachers and seniors, right? So we're in yeah. phase one. One C today. One C today. So we're starting uh, teachers. Teachers have, some have been vaccinated. Mm -hmm. and, and and so I, I think just to clear up uh, one issue that I've noticed some people talking about in the community, we had some appointments set up for teachers. We've been working with Dr. Kane and the Board of Ed to make sure the teachers get vaccinated. We had set up some appointments for them for last week. Uh, when the supply came in less than what we were expecting, some of those appointments had to be postponed. Health department makes decisions to prioritize them. Um, and so we were going for making sure more of the seniors who are the more vulnerable aspect of the population would get that. The state has given us some guidance uh, going forward 
on how to allocate some for the teachers. So there are some teachers who will be getting vaccines this week. We will keep doing that. But just to be um, candid about it, the, uh, the allocation that we're getting on vaccines, it is not enough for us to vaccinate the entire school system, our citizens who are you know, 75 and older in one week or even in a few weeks. It, it's going to be a long process. So it's coming, it's coming back to the allocations that are being sent to us right. by the state. Again, that dictates you know, who are, who's going to get the vaccine, when you're going to get the vaccine. Um, but again, these this, these information videos that we're doing that we're putting out is to to do our best to try to answer all those questions and those uncertainties that our citizens have. Right. So again, I reiterate, check with the county website um, to stay abreast of what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, obviously, we, you know, we want to a, a good a good thing is is that we. And, and speaking of, of the Board of Ed, and Dr. Kane has informed us that a, a, a large amount of the teachers have, you know, um, responded positively about receiving the vaccine. Yeah. So that's a good thing that they're they're like, yes, we want it. We want to get back in the classroom. We want to get back in front of our kids. Yeah, this it, in many ways, this is an evolving process. The good news is when we first started with the first vaccine, there was a lot of people wary about getting it. And our concern was then, are we going to have too much supply, not enough demand? And now we sort of flipped it on its head, where we have more of a demand than we do supply. Um, we're going to work through these. Another, I mean, excellent th thing that's going on is we're learning through the process. Mm -hmm. So while we might not have enough supply to vaccinate everybody who has expressed interest yet, uh, when we are running the vaccine clinics, we're looking at how do we improve this process and make it even better. Those who have been through the clinic have reported that it was a flawless experience for them. They were really impressed. So we're, we're happy on that. And uh, frankly, we think, you know, Dr. Ciatola and, and all the team, that is a, a showcase for the state of Maryland to watch how Queen Anne's County is doing it. Right. Yeah. He has a plan and it has been executed perfectly. And the numbers might not be where the public want them as far as vaccines we're getting, but the vaccines we are getting are getting out, and right. that's the most important thing. So in the future, when we have updates, are you guys going to come in and join us again? Sure. Let the yep. know? Yep. We're, going to, we're going to try to do this you know, every few weeks or as, you know, it, as we have something significant to present. We want to make sure that people are getting word. But also check our social media, check our press releases. We're trying to get information out in as, as many ways as possible. Right. And we'd be remiss real quick if we didn't mention um, uh, kudos to those folks in the health department that mm -hmm. are working with uh, Dr. Ciatola and the Department of Emergency Services. Um, they're putting in long days yep. uh, when it comes to those injection days. Um, so hats off to them, and we appreciate their efforts. Yeah, and, and they, you know, uh, it, it's easy for us to forget they've been putting in long days for a year now, mm -hmm. right? Since this pandemic started, um, between making sure that. Uh, Businesses were operating safely. Uh, then, with doing the COVID testing and now rolling out the vaccine, it's a, a Herculean task that they have undertaken, and they've done an excellent job. And we couldn't appreciate it more. Right. Yep. Wear well, your mask. You. Social distance. Thank That's you. That's right. And I know our, our public appreciates these answers because they have lots of questions. So thank you for coming in and talking with them and with me. And I look forward to next time. Thank, thank you, Bruce. Bruce. Of course. So keep watching on QAC TV, follow us on Facebook, follow us on YouTube as we keep doing updates with our commissioners. Also follow the Queens County Government's Facebook page and check out our website, qac.org, and the COVID website, qaccovid.org, for all the information for the county. Until then, we'll see you next time. Stay safe, stay healthy, and mask up.